guys, we are in with Emma and we are going to sanitize her hands first, so just wrap in, and mine as well. And we will do some info on her nails uh, with some old to me design, like we have picked up the really nice color and some transfer foils and the leaves, but let's first tidy up them. So I'm just removing um, the old color and I will be thinning out the free edge as well because we need to shorten them quite a lot. Uh, they are getting kind of long now. But she's got really beautiful natural nails, like absolutely amazing. Like I would say this is a client which has the most beautiful nails <laughs> from all the clients I have. Definitely you do like such a long nail beds and they amazing. Okay, so the end needs to be thin out quite a lot. And I know, guys, some of you like those uh, nails which are shorter as well. Um, just not everyone wears really long extensions. So the, uh, the videos from the sounds are brilliant because they are real customers, real, real life nails, like the ones which clients wear for every day. So blend all that out. I'm using the safety bead and I really love it. Now here is a little lifting in the corner and usually if there is a lifting in this corner of the thumb it means the thumb could not maybe cure properly and that's the way how the clients hold their hands in the lamp. So that indicates to me that and if this one will be the same and it's also the yeah. So that indicates to me I need to really watch it how Emma is holding her hand inside the lamp to make sure those corner lifting doesn't happen again. It could be also the mechanical damage as well because we tend to use our thumbs for doing the things. Um, but I definitely want to eliminate any of uh, mistakes done during the process of getting the nails. So that would be the curing in a lamp as a first uh, of them. So always make sure guys you kind of check how your clients are holding their hand inside the lamp. Okay, so I'm just going to file the rest of them. And then we will be able to shorten them and get them ready for uh, info. I will be doing two things when filing those nails. Um, one is uh, we want to lift them up so they are not growing uh, down the way because once the nails reach a certain length, uh, they tend to grow more down the way. So I want to get rid of that. Uh, that's the first thing. And then secondly, when we have some natural nails and there is a product uh, over them, I also quite like to file them from underneath as well. So we prevent any um, lifting at the free edge. Uh, you kind of tend to blend the underneath of the nail and I will show you that guys as well but let me quickly sort out the cuticles so I'll just push them not that they are any <laughs> and then the cuticle bead And we've got some new cuticle beads added to the website. This one is one of them. I quite like it as well because it's a bit larger, so I can I can work a little bit faster. And then put back into the reverse. And I'm on the speed number 13. Um, if I've got clients which are very gentle, I would go even as low as 11 or 12. Um, 
15 will be probably a maximum, but depending on the cuticles and on the on the um, uh, nail folds they've got. Okay, so file gently. And now we can swap to the hand filing. Um, I'm removing the corners like of the file. You don't want to hurt your client, so like making sure there is no sharp bits and pieces. And we will file from underneath as well, like. That's the filing I want to sort uh, out if, like, maybe not even sort out, but prevent any lifting which might be underneath. Okay, we need to shorten them. Blend all the old product with the natural meal. And thin out the free edge. Look, I'm also holding the nail from the top uh, just to make the filing more comfy for a client so the nail doesn't wobble too much um, because that's what could be really hurtful like if we would just file like this. <laughs> Okay, again, thin it out. They are so beautiful. Those nails absolutely are amazing. It's a really guys pleasure to work on nails like this. <laughs> Honestly, it is. Um, I'm also, you can see it, I'm also making sure the free edge is nice and slim so they don't look like um, too wide. Okay, so we shorten it a little bit more. Again, I've got a tiny bit of lifting in there, so I need to file it. And I'm trying to, let me even do it slowly so you can guys see it. So the white place, that's a lifting. And what I'm doing is I'm not filing on the lifting because I don't want to push it down. I'm trying to file below the lifting, so the lifting is going to fall out. See, I have managed to file this place here just in there and it's I do one more move of the file and this white space is going to fall off on its own and that's how you get rid of the of the lifting okay so now I can just this just comes off on its own really and this way you don't move the lifting because if you start filing at the wrong direction you will keep pushing your lifting and you could file and file and it will be a never-ending story and that was uh, the most difficult thing for me to understood when I was starting doing her nails. I was like, oh my goodness, I've got some lifting and I keep filing, filing, filing and it's never ending and the lifting is just getting bigger. And that was because I was filing wrong way. So I would file this way and I was pushing those lifting constantly um, and make it bigger and bigger. And also when we file, we do cause some fraction. So obviously, yes, we are lifting the product from the nail as well when it's uh, lifting. Same in here. Uh, this is quite difficult for uh, to file because I cannot file down the way. If I do, I will keep moving and pushing those uh, lifting. So what I have to do it is I will shorten them first. File this side. Blend it there. And ideally, I want to hold Emma finger like this to 
file away this lifting, so I'm filing more of there and kind of push this lifting out the way. Otherwise, it will keep moving. See? Let me clean it. So I almost get rid of that. I've got one more place here. That's it, it's fallout. And then this one going to be difficult. So again, I'm kind of pushing it away rather than moving it to go bigger. And that's it, sorted. Okay, uh, so that's the way how you would, oh, maybe not completely. That's the way, that's it. That's the way you would sort out the lifting. Now I'm going to do a couple scratches on those nails. So a couple scratches, make sure there is no shiny spaces. Check this hand for scratches, make sure there's no shiny spaces. Ah, there is shine here. And then we'll be able to apply our fiber gel. So remove the dust. I'm straight away doing on the second hand because when I was picking up the phone call, I tried to save the time and was doing it as well. Blue scrap to dehydrate the nail plate. So nice and squeaky clean. Dehydrate this nail plate. Like make sure there is no dirt, oils on it. Uh, this way your nails are going to last a nice and long time. Okay. An extra nail prep. So usually after I have done that, I might give it another clean. Nail prep. So nail prep is an extra nail dehydrator. And for those clients, so I apply it on top of the natural nail, but obviously I have the lifting here, so I have to apply it here in the corner as well. And then the other hand in a corner, because there was a lifting there. Uh, then the next ones, next ones, and next ones. Uh, universal air bond. So universal air bond is a air drying base gel, basically um, bonding gel. I mean, it's not a bonding gel, but it's universal air bond. That's the name, and I love it because you don't have to cure it in a lamp. So um, quite often the um, three phase gels, like that's the gels which needs the um, bonding then they need the actual gel and the top coat, that's the three phase gels. They require it, uh, uh, those bonding gels, which are cured in a lamp and this one doesn't. And I love it, like I really love it. So I've got my brush, get it at ready into a nice point. So like I want to have those points so I can have precise application around the cuticle area, nice and thin layer. I'm even not bothered about touching the free edge. Okay, so first of all, I'm building up those nice and thin layer on the empty spaces. Like, what a point to apply the product on the free edge. It is just perfect. I don't need any more in there. And when you apply the product so nice and thin, it is going to cure really well in a lamp. And it will give you a nice surface to apply your apex on. Okay, here I need more inside the lamp. Like, make sure you put it nicely, fully inside. Perfect. <laughs> I will be keep checking on you now. <laughs> okay, so nice and thin, nice and thin. And because I've got so little product, I can easily um, get the product very close to the cuticle look like I'm guys almost touching the cuticle uh, without of touching it obviously um, and then I can press with my brush much harder as well so the product attached to the natural nail better as well okay so nice and thin layer and on this one just the same nice and thin layer Plus, I'm straight away applying a little bit more into this corner. Okay, so clean my brush. Change your hands. And for cleaning my brush, I'm using a drop of the UV cleanser on my wipe. Now, another nice and thin layer, this time through the entire nail. Nice and thin layer. A 
into nice and thin layer. So normally I would do maybe two needles. This time I'm going to do probably all four. Then pick up another scoop of the product. And put the client's needles down the way so the gravity helps you. And I'm just filling up those missing place, the apex. Pick another scoop, fill up apex. Smooth it out. I've got very little product. And then smooth it out. Here I need a little bit more. It is a morning time and uh, the temperatures is a little bit colder. That's why I have done four. So depending on the temperatures, I might do four, uh, I might do five, or I might do only one nil. Okay, inside. But you will need to judge it like on the consistency of your product. <clears throat> so nice and thin. Same. Here I'm going to do it only two because I quickly want to cook the thumb and I want the thumb to be ready um, with the other nails so I don't have to wait for my hand to cure. I will tell you what I mean by that. So this is a huge time saver, guys. So I have done four nails on the first hand and only two on this hand change. So that's mean I've got one nail to do only in here. And then I've got 60 seconds because that's how long it's curing the gel to do the rest three nails on the other hand. And I'm not waiting. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to work constantly. Um, it's a huge time saver. here fill it up those gap more press it so when I'm put a bigger pressure um, I'm kind of removing less I'm kind of removing more product so I've got less on the needle and if I press gently there is more product which stays in and make sure I've got sort out those wee corner there change Okay, and then this hand needs to cure for a 60 seconds, so I've got 60 seconds, like no rush, to apply product on those three needles. And then I just swap hand and the other hand is ready for filing. And the thumb, uh, I keep it at the end, and the reason for it is it is... Um, it has different direction. So I want to apply the product first on those nails. Okay, don't go too close to the sides because by the time we finish on the thumb, the product is going to run a little bit to the sides. So don't go too close in there. And then the thumb. And I still got eight seconds. Six, five, <laughs> four. So I will be just ready on time with the product application here change and this way the first hand is ready for a filing so by the time the client swap the hands i've got the time to clean my brush put the um, gel away from me pick up uv cleanser to remove the inhibition layer and we can shape them and then paint the beautiful design so uv cleanser So I remove it once and then I remove it second time to make sure there is no inhibition layer left on those nails and on the skin. Okay, let's shape them. So I'm going to file one side, other side. And those indicates to me two lines how to file my shape. I know how to file my shape to be nice then. Okay, it's straight, blend around the cuticle area. Thin out the free edge a little bit. And do the same on the next one. They look actually 
not bad even without the filing, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm only perfecting this shape. And you can see it guys, I am not touching the apex area because that's the place I want to be a little bit thicker compared to the rest of the nails. Uh, comparing to the rest parts of the nail. <laughs> this one is just perfect the way it is. <laughs> And because I had some lifting on this nail here, I need to file a little bit longer to smooth it out. And so does I'm going to file it a little bit longer on this nail too. And then my next step is to take a buffer so again remove those sharp edges and then we are going to buff them Same at the free edge as well, sorry. And also with this movement, I kind of even push back the cuticle more so I can get uh, very close to the cuticle with my product. And then the next nail. Like make sure these parts are all blended so you cannot see where the product is starting. And the next one, the beautiful one. <laughs> you could fall asleep, good. <laughs> Very relaxing, I'm glad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice to have some time to yourself <laughs> once a month. I'm sorry, but he was desperate to get them done now. <laughs> Having a chill time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just buffing the last two nails then do the same on the other hand we will just clean them and then we can move on into the gel polish application uh, and the very quick and easy uh, beautiful ultimate design okay, about this one and the thumb so the buffer is 100 by 180 grit and usually I use the rougher side uh, just so it's quicker for me to smooth out the entire surface of the nail. After I finish buffing, I'll also trim this cuticle here.
had to file the corner because the product wasn't blended properly in there. And if it's not blended, that may cause the trouble. And it doesn't look nice as well, so make sure uh, all the places are really nice and smooth. Okay, slow down in here. Blend the cuticle area. And now let's trim this cuticle as well. And then we can clean them. Then we can clean them, like do the same on the other hand, clean them and then move into the painting. Okay, so that's them all nice and ready. And we can paint them the color, which is called Marshmallow 204, and then do some beautiful design on it. So I'm taking my time painting it, something nice, beautiful. It's actually a really nice color and we just love that it is matching kind of my lady jumper as so. well. And the first idea was to go for a purple nails. Oh, this is subconsciously picked it. Sub how is this word? Sub I know what this mean. I know subconscious. Subconscious. So yes, yes, I know I know the translator. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, change. I know okay. the translation into Polish. Uh -huh. And I do lots of things subcon yes. subconsciously. So oh, conscious. Conscious. Subconscious. Yes. Okay. Subconsciously. Oh gosh. <laughs> I will learn that. Subconscious. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I know the new yeah. word and I know what yeah. it means. <laughs> yeah, subconscious. Yeah, I've got really strong subconscious. Yes. Yeah. Very strong. I do as well. Like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is always laughing. Um, mm -hmm. No, that's a different thing. So... There is also one more. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me witchy. Is the intuition? Mm -hmm. Is it in yeah. English intuition? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. very similar word. Yeah, so that's what I've got strong. Mm -hmm. My mom and sister are really witchy, so <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I think maybe that's why I'm maybe not lucky, but that's why mm -hmm. things go kind of smoothish mm -hmm. in our lives. I mean, we get lots of troubles, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I feel like because of the intuition, it goes kind of more smoothly. Yeah. Okay. So we just have to paint those one more meal and then the second layer and then i will be able to uh, show you the beautiful design so i'm just painting this last meal and then we can change it 
Okay, and now we can paint the second layer with the camera beautifully on front of my nose. So if we paint the first layer quite nice and uh, close to the cuticles and very neat, you don't have to be as precise like, I mean, you, you are still precise, but like it's much quicker to paint the second layer um, because you are just really perfecting it rather than trying to get the... It looks so... The last one. And then we can change them. They are going to be in matte finish for a change. Perfect change. <clears throat> it's quite interesting color to be shiny and also in matte as well I'm not sure again I've got always big dilemma like I'm not sure if I'm liking better shiny or if I'm liking better matte Gosh, I hope, guys, you don't see my face in the camera. <laughs> Am I laughing because she see which, <laughs> like, what kind of position I'm painting those nails? I need to do something, like, organize it or, or do something so it's easier to record from the sound because this position is just so awkward. So. Before my hand cures, I've got a couple seconds to remove those beautiful rose gold transfer foil. And I love it. It's an unusual color change. It is really unusual color and I think it will really go with that. So we are just going to do a very simple all to me design with the transfer foil. And it looks um this rose gold looks amazing in gold. Like I I know it does looks amazing in gold. So I'm just taking a piece of those gold foil and I'm just touching some places of it. And so those on the next one. You don't need to do it anything. We're using the inhibition layer from our gel polish to make the transfer foils to stick in. It wouldn't stick into the entire nail as impossible. Uh, change. That's why we kind of give it a does uh, messy-ish look to it, which I feel like is really nice as well. So just a touches of the transfer foil. Perfect change. Oh, we don't need to change, but it's fine. <laughs> and then we are going to use the matte top coat. So, matte top coat. I've got a bit of something there. Cut the free edge. Matte top coat on this one. I, uh, I like the feel of this top coat. It kind of gives you those velour feel. So not only looks matte, but it also has a really nice feel to it when you touch it. Usually matte top coat makes the nails look uh, a bit lighter as well in color. Change. And I actually love it, uh, this color in matte. You will be able to see it, guys, in a minute. And then we will just do quick design, couple leaves, and then that's this beautiful set finish.
look how I'm working also with my brush. So when I'm painting, I'm also straight away cupping the free edge when the brush splits. It splits, um, I have cupped the free edge on the side. And I have cupped the free edge. Brilliant change. And now we are going to use... Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> I've never seen the matte, the matte foil. foil. It looks nice, it's isn't lovely. it? Really? Yeah, no, I love I it. Know what to yeah. That's lovely. I'm glad you like it. I knew it like I knew it I will like it because mm -hmm. I have seen the matte foil before and I, I, I just really like it so That's much. Mm -hmm. So now we are using a drop of the paint on French. She just paints some wee design in there. Just a wee leaves. I have just cleaned my brush so I don't have overly too much product in there. Three long those leaves. Okay, then another one I wanted here. If you've got too much product, uh, it was going to be more difficult to paint it. So just a very little product. Okay, and then another wee leaf. Gosh, let me squeeze my head. <laughs> Guys, see how much I love you? Like, you really need, like, I would need to get some good massage afterwards. This is awkward to paint this way. The other position was just impossible. Now I also feel like my paint on French gel is a little bit cured and I know the reason. I was running a training and I had a wee student who didn't close the pot. So I can feel the consistency of the paint on French gel is slightly different. So I'm just going to pick up another scoop of the product. I really don't want to rush those leaves because they are so pretty when they nice and small. That feels smoother. And I'm not going to apply the top coat over it. I'm just going to keep it the way it is.
actually that's what I've got on my nails as well the paint on French gel and it's last absolutely fine with no top coat Okay, change your hands. <clears throat> Always hold my breath. When you Where are you? Like no, as you <laughs> see, it's pretty simple design. I'm a little bit struggle. Um, I had a student using my brush, mm -hmm. and I had a student using my paint on French gel, so I can feel the consistency is different, and the tip of the brush is broken. You can see it, guys, in the camera. I hope. It's, it's not the way it should be, so that's mean this brush is going to be no use for me. And that's the thing, the brush gets used to someone's hand, and then if someone else touches it, or if someone breaks the tip of the brush, it just doesn't behave the same. I'm glad that actually yesterday I had the lady for a Halloween set of the nails, and she wanted Dalmatin, Dalma. Dalmatian. Dalmatian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she wanted Dalmatians and they turned it out so pretty. We had such a short time, like, because she was just squeezed in. But they turned it so pretty. I'm gutted, like, it's not recorded. Um, we'll need to think some nice and cute sets for you for a Christmas so we can uh -huh. record it for a Christmas set. Really? Yeah, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm. I, I specialize in those yeah. kind of delicate <laughs> wedding looks. So I'll leave it to you. So it will be nice to do something very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, just have to show me the picture of your dress, and then we can match it. Mm -hmm. I don't have it yet. You don't have it yet. <laughs> and when is the wedding, March? We, start, say? we started planning. Last month mm -hmm. for February, for the fifth of February. Oh, lovely! So we've got four months to organize the to things. Organize it all. Don't worry. You know when I bought my wedding dress, uh -huh. I bought it a week before the wedding. <laughs> so and it was a really but beautiful at least you dress. Know you wouldn't go off it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to alter, alert it mm -hmm. because your weight is not going to change within yeah. a week. Exactly. Yeah. No, I I I'm think not, I'm not too worried. But I'll get it, I'll find you, it. Of course you will find it. Yeah, I was the same, like, I mean... I know dress is a very important part of the mm -hmm. wedding, but your husband is more important. Mm -hmm. So there is not a big drama yeah. over the dress. It's a small wedding, mm -hmm. about 50-60 people, so... Thank you! We had quite a lot of guests. Um, mm -hmm. That was was nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful day. So hopefully yours will go all mm -hmm. good as well. Yeah, we're excited. I bet. We've been putting it off for so long now. Mm -hmm. So we went with our original date, which is our five year anniversary. Oh. So we thought four months we can do it, surely. Of course you can do it. Mm -hmm. And you know, the less you stress about it, the better outcome you get, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like um with the idea of the like i usually try to advise the people like you cannot please everyone there mm -hmm. will be always someone who is unhappy yeah. like there is no way how hard you would try there will be always someone happy person so mm -hmm. the main thing is just guys for you like to enjoy it really and yeah. and ta-da so the leaves are painted mm -hmm. change your hands <laughs> and i can show you the full results of this set guys so i'm using a tiny bit um of the inhibition uh, UV cleanser to remove a tiny, it doesn't have inhibition layer, but I like to give it a clean uh, to the matte nails as well. So we're just giving a little clean to it. 
and then once they dry in a minute i will be able to show you the matte effect of course i'm always cleaning with the wipes and if they get wet they they go back shiny and apply the cuticle oil but i think they look so cool and match let it dry and the foil especially oh. let me try it yeah, so the foil looks really awesome and cool and matte. It don't need to be shiny to look nice and pretty. And uh, that's the set which we have created for Emma today. Really beautiful and it's matching her, uh, matching her jumper. And she's got such a beautiful uh, nails, uh, natural nails, uh, long, beautiful nail beds. Okay, guys, I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now. <laughs>